Hello, today is another episode of Book Club and this time it's about The 4-Hour Chef from Timothy Ferris. So if you don't know Timothy Ferris, he made the first book um, which was really uh, crazy, uh, hyped back in the days, The 4-Hour Workweek. Pretty controversial on one hand to say like, hey, we all shall go into the uh, idea of working less, let our work be done by other people if possible, etc, etc. And um, basically be all be become like a small company within ourselves and get our stuff done by other people, outsource it, simplify it, pro process it to in different ways and therefore reducing our work time to um, support our, let's say, money needs. But on the other hand, um, then later move on and uh, go further with um, what we really like to do. Um, he also made the book The 4-Hour Body, really interesting about nutrition and to lose weight or maintain weight and become more fit. And the book The 4-Hour Chef is basically a book about cooking. If you just see it on the front page and the sides inside and just look through the recipes. But actually it's a book about learning almost everything you want and to become masterclass in within six months in almost every skill you can, uh, you, you can basically train. And this book here uses cooking as the vehicle to learn something and to show the principles and learning and uh, basically structure your learning process um, by applying it on cooking. So when you open this book, there are some uh, comparisons in the beginning. Um, what are the reasons to read that book and um, why is it fun, why is it good, etc. So then it, there's the um, there's a meter part on it, then there's a cooking part on it and um, there's a lot of um, examples out of cooking. I mean not related to cooking at all. It could be weightlifting, it could be swimming, um, it could be language. Um, there's a part on learning Chinese, a lot of the part on learning um, basically any language, any skill, Japanese, etc, etc, where you just have the comparison on how to approach it, how to decipher it or how to chop it down in smaller, more easily edible parts. And this is, uh, this is old phrase of how to eat an elephant, piece by piece, bite by bite. And the same process he takes here, the same approach, by taking eating and reducing it, taking language and reducing it to simple patterns like kickstarting nine languages with four sentences. I mean, we're still not at cooking yet. And um, this all is deconstruction. Understanding what is the, uh, the part in cooking? Where are your 20 and 80s? What is the most hundred common words in written English? As a comparison, what you can do with those little words. And that there's basically um, stories being written with just a few words, which is 236 words. And if you are able to do this and apply this to other parts like swimming, these are all things in the sequencing then later, then in the compression, get this information, condense it down to what is necessary, what gives you the best result afterwards. And then we going into basic skills of cooking while still referencing to language learning, etc, etc. What are the essentials in cooking? What are the um, parts which are necessary? Um, so, and then you go into real cooking. It's like taking the recipes for stuff, um, then cutting that down to these to the simple parts in between. Like, okay, I have a recipe with onions, so I need to know how to chop onions. Um, what are basically ingredients you have to have, um, which you can put on the side, and also which kind of tools you will need as a basic. Also, this is all included in here. And we are uh, page 123. We're in gear. Gear, gear, better be gear, higher quality gear. Um, then they have a lesson calendar, so you can plan that out for a certain time. And then, then lesson number one, food. 
134. We start with food. And then we start to understand what is inside the food. What do I need to learn when it comes to cutting, chopping, etc. Um, well, how can I use foil? How can I prepare things? And um, then we do every once in a while some parts in between like teas, etc. And then we go for flavors and say we make one meal, but we just change the flavor by adding some herbs and spices. And we are just like in lesson two, scrambled eggs, page 147. And from here on, you get a few more recipes every once in a while. Always open up with some learnings about meat, learnings about um, times, how long the steak, for example, should rest, what is the difference. And then we go into coffee, what would be the tools for that. And later on, we still have recipe ideas, recipe construction of your kitchen equ equipment, recipe and then next products, recipe and stuff if you go for hunting or you go in the wild. So you always will learn something on the side. And even if it's just like survival knives, hunting and rigging knives, we are basically just not even halfway through. And this whole book will later on always come back to necessary skills and go back into a recipe. And based on the recipe, there are some ideas and thoughts which we, will be implemented like opening wine bottles, what is the reason, what is the risk, how to do it, how to, um, uh, how to score a, a squirrel, go back, use that in the kitchen. Um, how to, what do you use leftovers? How do you um, keep them for later? Basic butchering. Um, what, let's say, nano parts you should use in your food, um, like acids, lecithin, etc. How to prevent gaining weight too much. A little sport will be inside as well. I'm not going to put all the pictures now inside. So you see, then later we go also into preparation and the physical basics on cooking. Add-ons, we have later also sweets, stuff which you can eat um, as a dessert, and also some um, experimental cooking where you basically make some fun stuff with food, with um, denaturations, uh, like perfect poached eggs is an example, perfect beef short ribs, um, some stuff with liquid nitrogen if you want to, um, some examples of uh, high protein diets, low slow carbs, all this is going to be later on. Again, sport, food marathon in terms of having some restaurants and some ideas out of the restaurants. Comparison of cities, um, creme brulee, uh, coconut meal aperitif, coconut meal entree. It's, it's amazing how much you can learn from here. And it's not just about the food and the recipe and the things you can try, but also that later on you go in more deeper understandings of refining your techniques you just learned going away from the basics, going deeper, um, mise en place, um, prepare things, plating, um, and crazy, you are at page 597, how to shoot a three-pointer. I mean, again, we are deciphering the, the steps needed. Um, I don't go onto the rifle topic, it's more specific for the US, uh, but it's also included partially. Um, and then you get also help to enter restaurants, um, how to use your knowledge right now when you enter restaurants to get the right food. And that's um, incredible. A few small helpers on the end, like conversion charts, because some stuff, oh, whoops, did you see conversion charts are available. It's a little more difficult depending on the country you're living. And um, yeah. Incredible. If you want to start cooking, great book. If you want to start learning something and you can already cook a little or you want to learn cooking at the same time, great book. This is the one you want to have if you want to learn other skills and become really good at it. That's it from my side. That's my little book review today. And thank you for watching and see you next time.